Happy weekend, everybody. This is Kevin. You are listening to episode number 13 of the weekend version of the podcast. This weekend, we're going to talk about getting where you're going. It's been a long time coming. Six days a week, and I'll share. What a mound of your tea. Well, it ain't worth this. This ain't no nine to five out here on these production lines. So I told them where to show it, then they could read between the lines. So I hope everybody has had a wonderful, wonderful week. Uh, we're back for the weekend p- version of the podcast after a little bit of a hiatus last week. Like I told you all on Monday, moving, going through some stuff. So new digs, new place to podcast from, new place to vcast from. I'm here. We're back in full force. Um, so make sure you do me a favor and drop by the website, www.ptguruconsulting.com. Haven't done much with it in the past couple of weeks because of... All this other stuff that's been going on in my personal life. However, we got some cool stuff that should be coming your way this week. New tools that I'm working on. New training stuff that I'm working on. New video stuff that I'm working on. New space gives me a little bit more freedom to work on these things a little bit more freely. I kind of like it. So um, along that note as well, I had a problem with my Instagram about a week or so ago and it's locked out on me. So I'm working on potentially building a new one. I'm going back and forth with Instagram trying to get the old one back. Worst comes to worst, we'll get a new one up. And as soon as I do, I will let you know where to find it. And I'll get it linked to my website as well so that everything's working again. So if you were normally seeing me on Instagram and you haven't seen me in a while, that's why. So weekend version of the podcast up on YouTube, Vimeo, a couple other places once we get it going. Um, Always like to kind of talk about what we talked about during the week. So we started off this week talking about starting from scratch. You know, what if you've got to build a whole new calibration system from the ground up? This is how we're going to do it. Then we talked about a little backyard metrology and just some fun stuff with more crossover between cooking and metrology, two of my favorite subjects. Then uh, for our Equipment Wednesday, we talked about bits of paper versus data bits. Uh, My old favorite, the chart recorder, and how it's kind of been replaced by these data acquisition systems, and some ways that data acquisition systems can be better, and some ways that they can be, well, worse. Then uh, Quality Toolkit Thursday, Talked about the histogram, one of the single most useful quality tools. It is also one that takes a little bit of time to really understand and get good at actually using. And then on Friday, I told you how crazy the calibration industry is and why we need these standards like 17025, Z540, and others to make sure that we're keeping everybody in check and we're keeping the playing field nice and level. So... Let's get to our content for the weekend. And for this weekend, again, we try to look at like higher level subjects, stuff that maybe steps way out of the world of calibration. In this case, I'm going way out of the world of calibration. Then we're going to talk about sort of getting where you're going. Now, obviously, this stuff applies to the world of metrology and calibration, but it also applies to your personal life. It applies to everything in the real world. And let's dive in. And what I'm really talking about here is that we all love to make plans. We come up with, you know, where we're going to be in a year or in five years. And a lot of times we start to think of these things as destinations. Beware of destinations. They're a trap. Because once you get there, you aren't done. Everybody thinks you're going to hit this one point and then just put it on coast. It's never going to happen. And this is the sad fact that a lot of small businesses tend to fall victim to this as well. Even big businesses tend to fall victim to this and we're going to talk about one here in just a couple minutes that is a perfect example of what I mean by you never get to put it on coast. I'm sorry if that's what you think life is about you're wrong and you're never going to be really happy. So you've done something you know you've built something you've created something you're trying to build something you're trying to create something and you think once you get there you're there. You know, you built the app, you got the contract, you made something, you built something, now what? You do realize all of this is just the beginning. You're getting started at that point. You built the app, so what? Someone is going to build a better version of your app 
tomorrow. If your app is any good, and I mean really outstanding, someone is going to build a better version of it than yours because it's useful, obviously. And somebody's going to figure out a way to make it more useful or make it better or make it faster or make it prettier or make it sexier, whatever the case may be. And you know who should be building that better app? It's you. You should be building that better app. You should already be working on the new version the second the original version gets released to the public. That's why we talk about an MVP before, that minimum viable product, because you don't want to hit the public with the final offering because there's no such thing as the final offering. It's always going to be a work in progress. So figure out what that minimum level is, get it to market, start selling it, and then keep getting it better and better and better and better. Simple fact of being in business. Somebody is going to put you out of business someday. Sorry, sad fact, it's true. So shouldn't it be you that puts yourself out of business? Shouldn't it be you, the innovator of that first product, of that second product, of that new thing? Shouldn't it be you that's the next new big thing while you're already the big thing? It's easy. It's called momentum. If you've got that, you get to keep going. This is what good businesses and great brands get right. Sure, you can make a great product, but then if you don't continue to improve that product, somebody's going to come along with a product that you should have come up with and put you out of business. Now, what I'm saying here might sound really, really simple, but it gets a little more complicated than that. So let's give you a great example that I was, as I was writing up my notes for this, just came to mind almost instantly. And that's a brand called Kodak. All heard of Kodak. Huge company. Just an absolutely enormous entity in business for an entirety of business time. Over, well over 100 years, a really established, well-known brand. And they were focused on one thing, one thing alone, pictures. Pictures. Hey, who doesn't love pictures? We all do. Uh, you, you're watching the video of this right now because you like the pictures that accompany the sound bites. So the problem is that Kodak forgot all about what their focus was. Instead of pictures being their focus, they did film, they did camera, they did paper for pictures. They lost sight of the core thing that they needed to just really get their head around and that was pictures. It's about pictures. Who would have thought 10 or 15 years ago that Apple and Samsung and then Facebook and Instagram would end up putting a global giant like Kodak out of business? Sure, they're not completely out of business. They might as well be, though. They filed for bankruptcy. They're a shell of the company that they once were. Kodak should have been a bigger player in this digital realm. If they kept their eyes on the real mission, pictures, not film and paper. Instead, that's what they focused on, film and paper and cameras. And you all know where those are today. You know, how often do you actually use film? It's a pretty rare occasion to say the least. Kodak could have been Instagram. They could have looked at what was happening in digital. They could have built the app for your phone, could have said, hey, it's free, invite your friends. You can share all your pictures. You can make some notes about what was going on with these pictures. You can send pictures to grandma and grandpa all through our little app. And they could have done that. They should have done that. Instead, they went bankrupt. So. As any form of business, you need to keep your eye on what you actually do. It's not paper and film. It's pictures. As a lot of you know me, I'm a huge fan of Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, just a monster in the modern sort of media advertising picture. And what he talks about all the time is this concept of clouds and dirt. You're either in the dirt or you need to be in the cloud. Stop being in between. Dirt is your day to day. That's the execution. That's what you're building. That's what you're doing. Clouds, that's the high level stuff. 
in, Kodak lost track of the clouds because instead of sitting there and going their clouds was pictures and sharing those pictures no they made their clouds be film and paper totally lost sight of what was really important and got stuck somewhere in the middle there when you get stuck in the middle you're gonna lose every time this is when you're standing there thinking about this middle level execution no you get down you execute yes you've got to have that vision vision is key but if you sit there trying to be in the middle you're gonna lose you're gonna lose every time so if you are in this game of business know that you're never done guess what the same is true in life you're never done you never get to just say hey I reached the pinnacle and even if you have you still need to execute and you still need to be getting better that's what really happens you need to keep getting better you need to keep executing on your abilities because it's gonna hone those abilities and it's gonna make that make you a better you you a better practitioner if you don't do this somebody's gonna pass you by and they're gonna leave you behind See, each accomplishment is simply a stepping stone you've hit the goal now it's time to refocus on the next goal hopefully you're already working on the next goal but when you hit the goal you have now the next step the next fleeting success that will point us to the next place to go hopefully you've already figured it out if you haven't figured it out that's okay but know that once you hit that mark now you got to be looking for the next mark this goes for business it goes for you as well as an individual remember that you as an individual are a brand too you need to think about the same kind of things in the days of lore when you went to work for a company and spent 40 years there and retired and collected your pension those are really a thing of the past yeah they're there and I suppose if you want to live in that kind of stagnation you can still try to eke out a life that goes that way but the truth in the modern day system is that most people change jobs every five to eight eight years why do they change jobs this frequently stagnation now they might not necessarily go to work for another company it's not necessarily what has to happen but they need to grow if they're gonna stay in the company that they're in they need to grow within that company they need to grow somehow they can't just be in that same space for the rest of their life nobody wants to be in that space forever they want to grow it's a natural thing for human beings we want to grow we want to learn we want to get better that's why we're competitive like we are now the thing is when you work on making a better you and challenge yourself we've got these great platforms today like LinkedIn that have gone a long way to really improving how the modern day workforce can brand itself you can build this online persona that includes your accomplishments and training and ability showcases awards and things you've done just all of your best stuff to hordes of potential employers this is a truly amazing age to be part of the workforce where you can actually be something bigger better make something bigger and better and not just feel like a cog in a wheel but remember here don't be Kodak you need to keep going forward you need to keep innovating for yourself and just being a better you I know how many people like to hear things that you know is are like hey this thing or is not covered by the degree I got or oh I have a degree from 20 years ago and you're not listening to me on my knowledge from 20 years ago and guess what none of it matters nobody cares nobody it's all about today it's all about what you're doing now it's all about how you're growing now things change you need to keep up with those changes if you got a degree in marketing 20 years ago and you haven't done anything to improve things guess what you're lost you're useless not to say you're completely useless but I'm just saying in this modern era it's all changed everything is different 20 years ago TV ads were the number one thing to do and print ads and mailers and all those fun things today nobody cares how many people watch TV nobody 
They they watch stuff on Netflix. They watch stuff on Hulu where they have the mini commercials. And even those, that's when they get up and go to pee. It's not the same thing anymore. It's not the same game anymore. You send out mass emails. People, they don't even hit somebody's inbox anymore. They go straight to the spam folder. So when you say, oh, I've got this info and it's 20 years old, or I, I, I don't have a degree in that, or I don't know. These are excuses. These are film and paper, and you need to get focused on pictures. Choose your path. Choose your goal. Know where it is you're trying to get, and know that it's each, each stop is just a stepping stone to the next thing. You're going to have a goal, and after that, you need to have another goal, and after that, it's another goal. It doesn't stop, and I promise you, you don't want it to. I hope this has been helpful. I'm Kevin. Drop by the website, www.ptguruconsulting.com. Leave me a note. Tell me how you're doing. Tell me how I'm doing. Ask a question. I'd really love to hear from you. It's really good to hear from all you guys. And I hope you have a great weekend. I'm going to talk to you again on Monday. Thank you so much.